he patiently waiting his meal here because he knows I'm got it all ready. Now today was, was decided. Amos, sit and be quiet. Today was decided. Hey, hush. I decided to do the uh, extra stuff day, so not just pure meat. I've told you before, I'm not on a schedule or a regimen in particular. I just play it by ear and try to make sure they get everything they need. I do not recommend giving two eggs at the same time to a dog that's just recently gone on the raw food diet. It'll, uh, one egg is really great for them, and, and please do them raw. They love them, and they're good for them. But uh, until they get used to it, I'm telling you, two eggs at the same time will make them fart like you would not believe, and it stinks something terrible. So do one egg at a time until they get used to it. So what do we have here? Well, we've got in the center, that is a mix, and the mix has, and I know I say never, never grain, right? Uh, but this was back in the day I made this like a year ago. I still got stuff I made a long time ago because we do large quantities and store it. So that mix in the center has a little bit of rice in it. We were using that for binder. It certainly does not hurt them. Okay, it's just no good for them. They don't get anything out of it. So it's a complete waste and it's not needed as a binder uh, You just you just spin the food processor less so it doesn't get too thin um, But you know rice doesn't hurt them a lot of people give it to them and it's okay it, It's certainly better in this form than it is in that damn green field kibble they eat Okay, so what's in there is rice a little bit of rice uh, chicken liver chicken hearts um, there's some gizzard in there and uh, that's pretty much it for meat but there's quite a bit of chicken liver chicken heart and chicken gizzard in there now there's also regular Costco like uh, a uh, for instance uh, stir-fry mix of mixed vegetables uh, probably is about 30 percent of this there's also some egg in there there's also some milk in there um, as well as um, some leaf greens but it's primarily the chicken liver, chicken gizzard, and chicken uh, hearts. So that makes them eat their veggies a whole lot better. That That's terrible English. Um, but I am redneck. So I originally, I made this when we first started Amos on it, before I learned as much as I know now, and I don't know near enough yet. Uh, but what I didn't know then is that we didn't need rice, and we didn't need such a high ratio of meat to get them to like the veggies. There's a lot of people that don't believe they need veggies and I tend to agree with them. I don't think it's absolutely necessary. But I do lean towards the fact that they need some of it and it makes it fun. I enjoy it. So that's the approach I'm taking. I think they need some. Uh, they do get some in the wild. When you study what wolf's behavior and coyote's behavior you'll find that they do eat veggies and some fruit in the wild. So this is what we do. Now, on the lower side of the video here, you've got large curd cottage cheese. Very good for their system. On the far side of the video, you've got regular plain yogurt. Yogurt provides uh, some enzymes and bacteria, good bacteria and good enzymes, that they need and they would normally get in the regular diet when they kill an animal and eat the intestines and the heart and the stomach and and the innards okay they get that from the intestinal tract and the innards in their normal diet of course you got two raw eggs one on each side obvious choice protein uh, vitamins uh, omega-3 uh, just the things they normally need you don't have to be smart you don't have to understand what's in these things uh, it's really a common sense thing you think they need some egg you give them some egg you think they need some milk you give them some milk so whatever you think would be right is right. And then you study and go from there. You don't have to understand it 100% all these vitamins and stuff. Just it's a common sense thing. Primarily they need meat. So if you start from there, keep it simple. They would survive just fine on a 100% bony meat diet. So raw, bone-in meat. That's what they need. And then anything you do beyond that, of course, in this case, you'd want to subtract uh, from the amount of meat they're going to get this evening 
because you fed them this, right? So this is taking place of the, you don't want to feed them this and also their bony meat. I'm just saying that they would survive just fine on 100% bony meat. So if you want to make it simple, easy, you start with that. Chicken, fish, uh, very thin cut pork and very thin cut beef. So you can start with that, okay? Or you can also use very, very large meaty bones, like a really large femur bone that's got a lot of meat on it, something they actually won't chew up and swallow. Uh, they'll just clean the meat off of it and clean their teeth, and then you take the bone away. In most cases, because people think they're going to break their teeth. I happen to actually let them keep the femur bones and the leg bones. They're all out there right now from the mooses we killed this year. And, uh, you know, my dogs don't break their teeth, probably because they started on this very young and their teeth are strong uh, because of it. And so you've also got bananas in here, and that's just an obvious choice. It's good for them, obviously. It's good for us. It's good for them. And he loves them. So this is his breakfast. Now, I know it's a long video. I'm sorry, folks. Okay, so here we go. We got, I'm going to repeat because I might trim this long video I've done here. So we've got chicken liver. The mix in the center is chicken liver, gizzards, and hearts that's been through the food processor with mixed vegetables and some banana and some carrot and some milk and uh, probably there was a little bit of yogurt thrown in there to help them like it um, and that's pretty much the mix it's getting them some good veggies there's a, a, just a tad bit of rice in it uh, which I actually don't do anymore this is an old package um, but there is just a little bit of rice in there and rice will not will, will not hurt them it just doesn't do anything for them got large curd cottage cheese we got regular plain yogurt, good enzymes, good bacteria that they need. You got bananas because they love them and they're obviously healthy. You got two, two, two raw eggs because obviously they're healthy. They, they love them and they're healthy. They're very good for them. A lot of omega-3. Okay, so this is his breakfast. You subtract the meat that he would normally get. This takes the place of the meal. It's not rocket science. It's common sense. It took me about... Oh, probably two or three minutes to create this dish. Hey, hush. It's not hard to do, probably. Hey, probably took me two or three minutes, and uh, he's going to really love it, and uh, it, it's really good for him. So here we go. We're going to let him have it and watch him eat it. There you go, Bubba. Good boy. Good boy. 